the biggest use case typically for people in home lab for, for a GPU is, is usually to transcode something, right? I, I, I have a, a collection of, of media on Plex or Jellyfin or whatever. And I, you know, I, I ripped it at, you know, 1080p and uh, my TV downstairs or wherever is only 720p. So something needs to convert that or transcode it on the fly. And typically people would buy a GPU for that. They would, they would get a GPU, they would put it in, they would say, sweet, now I can transcode my media. I can watch it on any resolution and transcode it on the fly. But you know, traditionally servers don't have a GPU on their chip, so you buy a GPU. And now with people going to lower models, they're finding that, hey, this, this Intel CPU that I have also has this thing called QuickSync, which can transcode or encode videos at this bit rate and this codec much more efficiently and at a better capacity and more efficiently um, than this GPU. So I've seen a lot of people saying, hey, you know what? I don't need a GPU. I'll just get a desktop class processor that has QuickSync in it, which can do my transcoding for Plex and Jellyfin. And then I think a light bulb goes on there like, whoa, you know, uh, where, where has this been all this time? And it's been something mm -hmm. that's been there for a long time. I think, I think QuickSync on Intel is is probably one of the best kept secrets from Intel, at least for transcoding. I, I don't know why it's a secret, but uh, it is. And uh, if you look at any of the any of the stats for it, it's uh, it's incredible how efficient it is and how many how many simultaneous streams it can also do. You know, we're talking like you could on an older ones two, three, four K streams down to 1080p, and it's you know not yeah. breaking a sweat. So.